Hello my friends, welcome back to the vlog. Today we're doing our gingerbread houses. Yay! Yesterday I felt a little sick. I was dealing with a sore throat. I have been taking some little, um, a little bit of medicine, so I do feel a little bit better. Still kind of icky, but we're just going to jump into these houses because I'm anxious to see what they look like. I've got my warm beverage here. Oh, and I'm lighting that candle, the uh, hot cocoa and marshmallow candle. I will say it smells good right here, but it definitely does not fill the house like the other candles do. But it is nice and cozy. All right, let me show you the houses because they're super cute. This is the Trader Joe's house this year. He didn't realize it, but uh, Michael just discovered that we have to make the icing. Okay, so off camera, we're gonna go ahead and make the icing because I don't know how long that's gonna take. And um, but I'll first, what? <laughs> Let's unbox it. Oh, you wanna? Should we unbox it? Yeah, and then we'll look at everything, and then we can make our stuff. Okay. All right. Some little, what's that, like M&M's? They look like M&M's. So these are called chocolate buttons. They're not allowed to call them M&M's. <laughs> <laughs> and then non-Pirellis? Oh yeah, those are those. Is that what that's called? Yeah. Is it really non-Pirellis? Yeah. Non, non pirels Yeah. non pirels That's what I call them. Or non pirels Those little chocolates that just have the little white beads on them. Yeah. I think these are just the beads. Okay, so non pirellis <laughs> I'm awful with words. It's not even funny. Pretty much, yeah. Sababit Huffy. Sababit Huffy. <laughs> <laughs> Comment below if you know what that's from. <laughs> it's from a movie. Realize. <laughs> Realize. Those are the gummy candies. I love gummy candies. And then... I should have got some extra bears. Oh, little bears that have been cute on there. And then uh, gingerbread house pieces. There's a lot going on here. There's a piece underneath this. And then all the other bits and pieces here. What's in here? What are you? Those should be the creatures. Oh, wait, no. Are they the creatures? They are adorable. Oh. Are they made already? That, I don't know what that is. A, a mouse, a deer? And the little chipmunk. Oh. Kind of the cutest thing. And it's pretty thick. It is. What do you think? It is cute. Alright friends, we're going to do the icing now. And I will still record this and maybe like speed it up. Our sword. Oh, okay. And this goes here and that goes there. That's correct. And then we're trying to do that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> it's relaxing. It is relaxing. Okay, first well. Did you cut a hole in your thing already? Yeah. Oh. I'm ready to go. So. You are on the ball, friend. Ready to go. I don't know how much to put in there. This is your foundation. So you want to put... <laughs> and I think it's going to hold your plate in place too. Oh. So I think you can so just... It's our anchors. Yeah. So I think you can just fill that joker up. At least that's what I'm going to do. You committing? I'm committing. smells like bread. Yeah. Like, not like, is that weird? It doesn't smell like cracker. It kind of smells like it's bready. Does it smell like gingerbread? Ha! <laughs> All right. Well, as, as you know, this is a holiday tradition, and it's a competition. 
It is a competition. And we don't have to decide amongst ourselves, you and me. We don't have to decide who oh, wins. Oh, I know. We get, you guys get to decide who the winner is. There it is. We got the framing done. It looks nice. It's oh, it cute. smells good. Right. Ah, it smells like cookies. Right. Okay, so now, so now the, the piping. Wet the popsicle stick. Get a little bit on the popsicle stick and put it up against. Oh. All right, general Q&A questions. If you could live anywhere, where would it be? Uh, okay, so seriously, I have this thing and I don't know why, I've never been there. Mm -hmm. I want to live in Montana. I don't know why. I have Anywhere you'd be in Montana? I think that I would like to live in Montana. I live in Scotland. That's like Montana. <laughs> I want to live outside of the United States. Last film you watched. Oh, what did I see? I did watch the new Indiana Jones recently. You finally finished finally it? Finally finished it. Well, I thought it was like four hours long. As it turns out, it was the, um, the special features were an hour at, at the end. So it was not as long as I thought it was going to be. I watched Mean Girls about a half hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> On Wednesdays we wear pink. Who said I love you first? Whoa. Oh, that was probably me. Um, I think I think it was you, but it was a. I thought it was a typo. And I think it was a typo. But I took it. I was like, oh, he said I love you. Because <laughs> he said I love you, Bobby Pins. <laughs> and I thought. Either that's a cute little name he's calling me now, or... Oh, that's or right. Or it was a typo. <laughs> I would find them all over the car. <laughs> and where... places yeah. that you have been. So... That's a cute reminder. I still think about those things when I... Like when I... <laughs> when I find your eyelashes, your spiders. <laughs> <laughs> now they're eyelashes. <laughs> and I find your little spiders around. <laughs> where was our first date? Was that um, the car thing? That didn't count. I don't think I counted that as a date. Ben, well, I mean, he did grab my hand, which surprised me. I think we had different perspectives of what <laughs> was going on that day. I, I believe so. Because I was like, why are you grabbing my hand, Why bro? are you touching me? Why are you grabbing my hand, bro? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I think it was a car show, if we consider that. I do. Yeah. I do. Well, then it was a car show that we went with my brother and his now wife. You, oh, that was like, I think that was his first date too. Was it? Or around there. I don't know. I think I think they least, knew each other, but I yeah. think that was the first time you met her. We started dating the around like this exact same time that my brother started dating his now wife. So that's adorable. What is my favorite video game? Oh. I think that... Uh, I think it's either Mario Kart or Animal Crossing. Yeah. And I really don't know which one you like more. I love Mario Kart. I can play it for longer than I can other games. <laughs> right? It's like the longest one. I, I, it's the longest one. There's games you like. Like you liked, um, what was that one, that scary one called? Um, oh, I do like those make a decision games. Um, like... I, not like the that. quarry. What was the first one? That was the, oh, it was uh, till dawn. Until dawn. Until dawn. Yeah, you <gasps> loved that. Oh, I do. And those are great because if you um, if you get uh, what's it called, motion sick. Yeah, I do get motion. They're not like first person or even third person games where you can do. That. Your favorite video game is The Last of Us. Oh yeah. Oh seriously. I actually do like that one too. I'll, uh, <clears throat> Like, I'll play that almost annually. That and Uncharted, yeah. but The Last of Us, both of them, back to back. It's it's a good time. Oh, it's, you're almost done. Oh, my goodness. Well, I'm focusing on my front. I'm putting all, the, all my effort in the front of it. I don't know what you're doing there. What are you doing? What is your favorite type of junk food? What's your favorite junk food? 
So I know, like, it's not like you eat it right now, but... Freaking donuts, dude. <laughs> it's unhealthy obsession. Like, if there's donuts around, I'm just like, oh, yeah. Can't control. I, um, yeah, I, I gotta just go somewhere else. <laughs> I think donuts are great. I think donuts look cute, but I don't, I don't find them to be, like, irresistible. I can definitely resist a donut. Uh, my favorite junk food would have to be chips. I love chips. Spicy Doritos. Spicy Doritos. Yep. I love me some jalapeno chips. But right now, I'm loving the chicken wild chips. Ugh, those are so good. With egg salad. You guys have to try it. It's delicious. It is good. And what do you... You call it chicken two ways. Chicken two ways. <laughs> describe each other in one word. How would I describe that? In one, what's one word for that? I would say, describe one word for you is spontaneous. If I were to say, let's go to the snow right now. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you are like, uh, uh, but it's but it's different because you won't say, let's go to the snow right now. But if someone says, like, let's go to the snow right now, you would be like, oh, okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> or, or like, let's go window shop Ross. I, I literally anywhere. <laughs> like, Ooh, okay. TG Maxx. TG Maxx. <laughs> he would say, okay. Like, you're just always, always down for something. But you won't initiate it. It's just... If you mention it, he's like, yep, I'll do it. I'm there for it. <laughs> so I would say spon spontaneous or however, whatever word best describes that. <laughs> I think that mine for you is um, it's mindful. I think you're probably like one of the most mindful people I've ever met. <laughs> like, like the way you like spend so much time with like gift, gift giving and like like it's always like on point I mean for me like all the times for like a work person where you're like where we go and make a whole basket because they're leaving or doing something yeah um, and just like in general as well but yeah I think you're a mindful person I think you did say that before on the other Q&A yeah, well, I still mean it. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> this is adorable. Um, if your sibling was an animal, what would they be? Oh, man. Okay. Did I? Do you know the owl from Winnie the Pooh? Yes. <laughs> like, I want to say that, like... She would be an owl? I think Trace would be the owl. I think my sister would be the owl. That's like, cute. Like, she's a smart kid. Like, I always say it, too. She helped me, like, tremendously on that project I was working on. Um, I have a, three siblings. Um, my first sibling, let's see, would be my older brother. Older, older brother. Eldest. And I would say he's a, he's a bunny. I think he jumps around from thing to thing. His... He's very busy. Oh, he's, he, yeah. Yeah, he's just like a bunny. Always, always jump into something. Oh. And then my sister, who hibernates in their own little, like, meow, meow, meow. is she a squirrel? No, not squirrel. Huh. Who, who, who's... Like a bear? Yeah. I think she'd be like a little bear. She likes her little, like, her little den. <laughs> yeah, really though. Yeah, she likes her little den. A little sass to her. Don't poke the bear. Don't po poke the burn. <laughs> and then my other brother. Oh my gosh, he has a lot of energy. He's enthusiastic. I'm going to go for squirrel. Yeah. He's a neighborhood squirrel. <laughs> a little bit of this, a little bit of that. What's in your bag? Oh, my bag? What's in your bag? Name one thing that's in your bag. Um, my oracle cards. <laughs> and I usually keep a cutting device of some sort. 
a lighter because you never know how to light the world on fire. <laughs> um, I'm kind of thin right now, actually. I don't have a purse <laughs> because I don't like carrying purses around. Um, but I do have a work bag and in there I have uh, tarot cards as well. I have uh, water flavors. <laughs> oh, I do keep water flavors too. Yeah, I keep water flavors in there and a little thing of perfume and uh, Vaseline for my lips. I'll let you answer this question. Where do you see us in 10 years? That would be creeping up on 60. I'll be working on getting an RV. <laughs> um, making travel plans of where we want to end up and that kind of thing. Figuring out how to be a camp host. That'd be fun. And I hope to have like like, like a woody property somewhere, maybe. Oh, that's really what I would like. A little piece of forest somewhere. What's your sign? My sign. I'm a, I'm a Taurus, a Virgo rising with a Scorpio moon. <laughs> Ooh, you're spicy. I am a big old mess. I'm just kidding. <laughs> What's your sign? I'm a Cancer sun with an Aries moon and a Libra rising. <laughs> And what's really interesting is what I have in my 11th house. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not go there. <laughs> Who's the weirdest person you've ever met? <laughs> <laughs> Myself. <laughs> Are you a type A personality? <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Like, um, are you, would you think, would you say that you're the leader of the pack? Mm, I I think I, I march to the beat of my own drum. <laughs> I might be in the front. I'm a loner. I'm I'm not a leader and I'm not a follower. Okay. Do you have a favorite childhood memory? And no. <laughs> no. No. Um, and do you have a favorite childhood memory? But let's say Christmas related. A favorite childhood memory, Christmas related. Um, yes, actually, I do. This is going to really show my age. I really wanted Rainbow Bright, <laughs> and like, I know that I knew that that was just you know probably not going to happen or anything. But I would always go Christmas shopping with my parents, and I remember them putting me in the front of the cart. And as we went around the store, there would be like, close your eyes, and they would drop a present inside. I closed my eyes, but I kind of peeked a little bit through my, <laughs> through my fingers. Do they know you peeked? And now they do. Now my mom, probably watching this, knows that I peeked. And I saw them loading Rainbow Bright into the cart, and I was pumped. <laughs> yeah. I remember getting my bicycle. Oh, that's like cool. Six or seven again. Um, was it underneath the tree or did they like take you out? I think there's a picture of it and it was by the tree. I th you know, my parents had to have stayed up. Oh, I'm gonna cry. Aww. <laughs> that was just, uh oh, it touched you. <laughs> there's the cancer. <laughs> He's a little softy, guys. <laughs> so they probably had to have stayed up all night doing all this stuff and I'm pretty sure there was some for my sister that required assembly and they were they were cool it was cool they uh was there in the morning and it was all put together it was all put together that was really that was a neat thing and i rode the crap out of that bro like <laughs> everywhere like little me right around that little place where we lived um just everywhere i rode it to school like <laughs> that was a that was solid so we'll be right back on the cleanup. We're gonna um, we're gonna set up some neat little glamour shots, and then um, you can vote down below who did the best. Okay, ready? Okay. All right, my friends. Here are the gingerbread houses. This one is mine. This one is Michael's. We will let you be the judges of which house you would like to live in. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Which house you like. 
and that is all we have we will insert some pictures too because michael went a little a little crazy i went ham yeah he likes his b-rolls so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know let him do his let him do his thing And we'll post those pictures for you <laughs> if you want to see them. I'll also post them on my Instagram because I think they're really cute. All right, my friends, thank you for hanging out with us. I hope you enjoyed this video. And we will see you tomorrow in the next vlog. But wait, monsters need Advent. Oh, my goodness, you saw that?